weird question. Your name's, Ale um, your name's Alexander, is that right? Yes. How old are you, Alexander? Nine. You're nine? And who are you sitting with here today? My mom. Your mom? That's nice. And what's your really weird question, Alexander? Um, did you get s sick on the way up to ah. space? Did I get sick on the way up to space? Yes. <laughs> It's, it's the, uh, when you change something really, really quickly with your body, uh, where your body doesn't know what to, what to make of it, uh, when you have a big transition like that, when your body has a quick change, like you're, you're standing around and you get in a car and the car is moving a whole bunch, or you get on a ride at the X and suddenly it spins you, your body hasn't caught up yet. And when your body sees a big difference between what it thinks is happening and what it feels is happening, it doesn't know what to do. And in fact, what it normally is, is your eyes are telling your body one thing, but your balance system, your inner ear that, that tells you which way is up, is telling your body another thing. If you think about it, if your eyes are telling your body one thing and your balance system is telling your body another, then your body guesses why. Why did this happen to Chris today? Maybe he ate something that is kind of poisonous and that is messing up his balance system, like a neurotoxin. And a neurotoxin can kill you, like if you eat a bad mushroom or a bad root or something, maybe the earliest symptom is that your vision starts to go wonky. And so your body says, I gotta get rid of this thing. Throw up right now, red alert, red <laughs> alert. Get rid of that stuff. So, so often your body wants to make you throw up. And sometimes it'll make you wanna throw up just because you were surprised. Like if, if you had to get up here and make a speech in front of a thousand people and your body's really super nervous, your body doesn't understand why you have this weird feeling and so it thinks maybe you ate something bad and it makes you want to throw up. Which isn't the right reaction, but it's, it's doing its best. And the other thing it wants to make you do is lie down and go to sleep. You know how you feel really tired sometimes when you throw up. And because your body's saying, get rid of the poison and then stop digesting it. Stop metabolizing it. So your body is doing its best. It's like, I don't know what's going on, but throw up and go lie down, and maybe, <laughs> maybe things will be better in a few hours, and maybe you'll still be alive, and then we'll deal with it. <laughs> so if you get in a spaceship, and it grabs you and hurls you like crazy, this huge accelerator that takes you all the way up to space, and then at the end of nine minutes of crazy vibration and acceleration, suddenly you're weightless. Your body's like, whoa, something's <laughs> way wrong. <laughs> Quick, throw up and go to sleep. And, <laughs> and, and, uh, but as an astronaut, you don't want to be vomiting and sleeping right after you get to space. So we take uh, anti-nausea medication so that, uh, so that we... Because uh, after a while, your body says, well, it turns out it wasn't anything he ate. It must be some new normal, and we'll just let him be there and stop making him throw up and go to sleep. So we adapt to it. But yes, I felt terribly sick when I first got to space. But after a while, I got used to it, and it was worth it. <laughs>